okay now we will install the ftd so we'll go to the to the ftd i will show you so this is the ftd okay so what we will do is right click and then start and then double click and then we will drag this cell i so that we can see what's happening so we'll wait until the we will we will wait until the cell uh, the ftd is fully started okay since the ftd already started so we need to log in the default username is admin the password is admin admin one two three capital a we'll just continue the press enter 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 press uh, type yes and then it will ask you to enter a new password so i will just use admin 123 admin 123 next it will ask you if you want to configure the ipv4 i will press yes for ipv6 i press no and then for the configure ipv4 i will do it manually so that i can put the ip manually then I will put 10.70.24. Uh, I believe it's this one. 4.7. 24.7. 255, Okay. The gate will be 10.70.24.2. Press enter. And then we will put the name of the FTD. I will put FTD1. D1. Enter. And then for the DNS, I will put 192.168.100.1, my home internet router, uh, internet, yeah. And then Google 8.8.8, .8 .8. press enter. Searchable domain, I will put mynetsecurity.com. You can put whatever you want, okay. And then it will ask you if you will manage the device locally. So I'll press no because we will be using the FMC. So our answer should be no. Then it will ask you if the firewall mode will be routed or transparent. We will choose routed. Routed. And then that's it. So we'll test now. Okay. So here we have PC. Double click this one. As you can see. I'll put the PC here. So let's ping now the. Let's try to ping the. The firewall. We'll just put like this, so that we can see. Okay. Here we will ping ten seventy twenty four dot seven from the PC, which is this PC. So I will type. Um, ping ten seventy. Ah, sorry. Ping. 10.70.24.7 so it, it is it is reachable so make sure also in your pc this pc should be assigned the ip statically so as you can see here on the ethernet change adapter i configure this pc manually here properties this one i put it this ip and also i put dns so that we can access the internet later okay now in the next video i will show to you how to install the fmc since we already finished the ftd the next one is the fmc so after installing the fmc we will connect the ftd so that we can access via gui using this pc to manage the ftd okay Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe.